The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the July 31st, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us. Not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I are going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Would love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got you covered. Send me an email. Send that off to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got most of the U.S. indices trading the upside. The one that is not is the transports. They're off 23 points, about a little less than uh, two tenths of a cent to the downside. Otherwise, other U.S. indices trading higher. Dow's up 54 points, less than two tenths of a cent. Same for the S&P, which is six points. Same for the Nasdaq, which is 24 points, seven tenths for the Russell. That's a 14 point move. 17 points or about four tenths for the semis. Uh, you've got gold trading up seven bucks, about four tenths of a cent. Silver's up 40 pennies, one in six tenths percent there. Lights we crude up six tenths or 51 cents. Natural gas up two cents, 30 treasury. Printing out at 124.19. That is up 11 ticks. Now, leading the charge dollar-wise today, we've got Chipotle, $36 move, nearly 2%. Nearly 2% for Mercado Libre, 22 bucks there. Adobe's up 19. Monolith Power Systems, 16 and change. And United Rentals, 15 bucks, 15 and a half, trading up 3 and a half percent, trading out at 461.58. To the downside, it's Thermo Fisher leading the charge off $12.50, followed by Silicon at 965. Regenerance down $7 and change, as is Johnson and Johnson. Waters Corp off seven bucks as well. That's about a two and a half percent move to the downside. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. Let's begin by paying attention to the equity future contracts. So I'll start and take a look at those. Here are the daily time frames. What do we know? We know that if the ES Mini closes about 4609.25, it will negate its roads momentum indicator top, and that will suggest a further move higher. 4609.25. We take a look at the NQ. The NQ very likely wants to target its profile resistance zone or level and that's up at the 15967 area now what na i would naturally guess what the nq needs to do to get back to its bullish ways would be close above 1606275 if it does that it will negate its rose momentum indicator top and suggest a further rally in the case of the dow the dow has two different tops out of the dow equity future contract it has both a a, sell the D point and a TD9 count top. Now, the TD9 count top would be negated with a close above 35,693. But the real top to watch now is the sell the D point. In order for the YM to be in a bullish mode, what we need to see is a close above 35,843. That's the number to have on your pad of paper. The Russell 2000 has an A to B equals CD pattern. It also has a Rhodes momentum, Rhodes momentum indicator top that's at 2007. We're trading at 2,730 right now. A close above 2,007 negates that signal, would then suggest suggest to you and I that price will complete the one to at least the one to one A to B equals CD. That one to one price target is 2030. So as we speak right now, we have 
basically two tops that are in place, two top, uh, the roads, uh, and when I say two tops that are in place, the NQ and the Dow, those tops are still in place. Right now, the tops for the ES and the Russell 2000 are being threatened. Let's not stop there. Well, why not? I don't know. Let's not stop there. Let's go uh, dig into. Now, I had to reset my machine just before we came on the air. The whole thing kind of crapped out, so to speak. And so I don't have everything back in line the way that I need to. But I do have the ability to take us over to take a look at those uh, day trading charts, if you will, for the NQ. We can take a look at the intraday time period. So no need to really talk about the daily time frame. If you look at a five hour chart, uh, conditions here are bullish. Bullish because price is above the top of its profile and its green oscillator and change line. This suggests just a run up to 16.062 over time. In the case of the four hour time frame chart, we have a consolidation with inside the profile. Its level of resistance is at 15.917. So close about 15.917, which suggests to move to 16.062, same as the five hour chart. The two hour time frame chart has a TD9 count top with a resistance level that formed back at 10 o'clock in the morning on July 27th. That number is 15.904. It closed about 15.904. Well, that would then say, well, 15,917, the five or the four hour chart is really that resistance. Oh, you're not seeing those charts. Hold on. I didn't go over there. Now you got the, now you're seeing those charts. So, so here's back on the five hour chart. You can see you're above profile and that green oscillator and change line. If you take a look at the four hour chart, you are within profile, but above the green oscillator and change line, 15,917 being the magic number there. And here's your TD9 count top on the two hour time frame chart, which has a little bit, of, a little bit lower high at the 15,904 area. Let's still call it 15,917. It close above that, we should see higher price. 60 minute time frame, we've got a sideways consolidation. You had a TD9 count bottom that formed at 12.30 last night, took price right up to resistance. Whereas resistance, the TD9 count breakdown level, you want to learn that pattern, whether you're an intraday trader, whether you're uh, uh, a swing trader. It's just an easy pattern to understand. I teach it to you. You can just subscribe to Mastering Probability and uh, you'll get the uh, access to that workshop. Uh, no reason for us uh, to really spend time on the 15 and the 10 minute charts out here. Uh, so the NQ, we're really watching resistance and we're going to call it that 15,917 area. We can throw up the ES mini charts here real quickly. Uh, let's get those up, <laughs> see what we're dealing with <clears throat> here. And uh, this will take just a few moments to pop it. Again, we're trading above that key level, 4609.25 as we speak right now. And to close above that, suggest higher highs. Where are the next resistance points then as we take a look at these intraday charts? The five-hour chart does not show anything. Everything is still, oh, I take that back. The five-hour chart shows a consolidation with inside of profile. It's next upside resistance target, 4634. Same thing for the four-hour time frame chart. Uh, the four-hour time frame chart later this afternoon could form a TD9 count pattern but uh, too many things need to take place between now and then for that to occur so we won't go through those details but again 46 34 50 resistance in the case of the two hour time frame chart it has a resistance zone and that zone is between 46 18 which so far as held there's resistance so if you see a close above that that key area will have failed but the zone is between 46 18 and 46 34 50 no surprise there so if we're going to get up to 46.35, we really need to see a close above, let's call it 46.18. What is the TD9 count top out here on a 15-minute chart, just out of curiosity? 46.18.75, that's the new number. 46.18.75, you close above that, we're headed higher. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Let's go out to Omaha, Nebraska and speak with Mike. Mike, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you, Steve? Excellent. Uh, thanks so much for asking. You want to take a look at ticker symbol SPWR. Uh, tell the folks what you're doing and how I could best help you. I got in on Friday at 921. I uh, think uh, it may have some room up, but uh, I just want to see what you say about uh, how I'm a swing trader. So. I was wondering, uh, is there some room uh, upside? So I hear what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch from these white background charts and go over to the black background charts just simply because it, it provides the answer to your question out there. And so we switch over here. I'm just going to expand out to the daily time frame. And then the daily time frame, there's a brand new market profile this one. I'm going to turn off price for the moment because this market profile looks like both the uh, center and the bottom are at the exact same spot. So I just want to turn price off. And now we'll see the new profile. So this new profile, and this tells us where both buyers and sellers reside as of today. And the buyers are at 941. And uh, that's both the center of the profile and the bottom. So that's a very strong support level. If price I know you got in around 920, you said. I would say yep. if price closed below 941, I would take whatever remaining profits there are. As far as the upside potential, the top of the profile where the sellers reside is at 996. So that's in the daily time frame. I'll put the uh, candles back up here. You're trading right now at 969. So, so the first answer to your question is, I guess, would be where's your upside resistance? Is that correct? Yep. And that would be at 996. Now, that's on the daily time frame. Your weekly time frame, price is trading actually. So this is kind of interesting. Here, price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile, which is at, oh, I take it back. It's trying to get in there right now. So 963 is the bottom of the weekly profile, which price closed below last week. Now, you need to close below a bottom of a profile for two consecutive sessions to suggest that this really is a real move and it wants to head lower. Not that it can't be a real move, but we're really looking for confirmation here. But right now what price is trying to do is get back, up back, get back above that 963 level. So you'd really like to see price hold that. And then if you do, that would give you that uh, more confidence that price should go target 996. Um, you said you're just a swing trader. Is there any, and, and you've got that 11.54 real upside weekly price target. Um, I, what I can I'll switch back to, so just a swing trade though, right? So you're going to be in and out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I, th I think I've given you the information that you're looking for. Is there something else that you need? No, uh, the, the, the TD counts uh, did it have a potential for upside because uh, I want to. I want to have it keep going down. Uh, it's not falling. Finish falling. So, so I'll share with you what it's actually done here. So SPWR, which is Sun Power Corp, gapped down big time on uh, July 26. Volume behind that move was 23 million shares going into a road momentum indicator bottom from July 10th that only did 5 million shares. But it still never busted out that swing low, and you're back above that swing point. Um, and any close above... 943 on less than 5.3 million shares. Today, so far, you're doing 2 million shares, so it almost seems like it's too much volume, but that would be a rejection of that swing point. Daily-wise, there is no TD9 counts for you to be concerned with. Price was just pulling back to that Roach Mintum indicator bottom from back on July 10th. There is no bottoming signal, per se, on the weekly, although let me just expand this out. I can come up with an A to B equal CD to the downside that was confirmed in uh, July, the week of July 14th out there. What that would then say to uh, you, Mike, is that a close below that level, that level, meaning the, the low of that candle session, and that is at 899, that would tell you that you're on the wrong side of the trade to yeah. the upside. Uh, the only TD9 count pattern, you mentioned that, is on the monthly time frame. And bar number eight will complete today. It still needs that ninth bar in order for that to happen. That means in the month of uh, of August, you would need to see a close below 13.22. So I think instead of, uh, I think I just trade this more from a swing uh, standpoint out here. And if price can overcome 9.96, um, you know, you still got that gap that you're dealing with. But I'd say at that stage, then you'd be looking at 10.59 and 11.54 as your battleground areas. Yeah. I appreciate it, Steve. All righty. That's okay. All I needed. I Thank you so much. Perfect. Mike, hey, thanks for calling. I hope that you call again. That was Mike in Omaha, Nebraska, and that was ticker symbol SPWR, Sun Power Corp. Let's go to our next question that uh, came in. The next question coming in from Greg M. And Greg wanted to take a look at Palantir. P-L-T-R is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's actually get to uh, Greg's question. came in by email. It says, hey, Steve, would you look at PLTR for me? I discussed the potential... And, and discuss the potential of an A to B equals CD to the upside. You own the stock. You've uh, you own the stock. You've also taken profits recently. You'd like your thoughts on support and resistance levels and where it might, where you might add on pullbacks out there. Okay, Greg. So let's see. First, first question. You wanted to look at an A to B equals CD to the upside. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to switch back to those black background charts because that's where we can draw in that pattern and give you some accuracy. So we'll switch back there. We'll take, I, I believe, it was the daily time frame that you were looking at out here. Let's take a look at its A to B equals CD patterns. I see one that we've already drawn in there, but let's get rid of that. And now let's take a look. So the A to B equals CD, I would believe the one that you're looking at would look like this. You'd start, I would start down here with my A point being May force low. And that didn't work. So Stevie's got to do this again. It shows the high of the pattern. Let's try this one more time. The low of May 4th. Please listen. There we go. Now for your B point, that's it. That's easy. That's going to be the high of June 6th. June 7th, I should say, and your B point is going to be the low of June 23rd. Now, that B point did volume of 227 million shares. When it was passed, it was passed with 63, 87, nowhere near that type of volume has it passed that. Uh, today, you're at 83. So 83, you got 160, maybe 200. You're going to be close today. Do you need to pass that B point with volume to have an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside? And the answer to that question, Greg, is no, you do not. Do you, would you like it? Sure, you'd like it. Do you have to have it? No, you don't have to have it. Here's what we know right now. On a daily time frame, price is trading above its most recent highs. It's trading above the top of its daily profile, closed above that on uh, Friday. So your one-to-one -one price target is up at the 2344 level. This is above resistance. So support, I would say, old resistance would become new support. And for this instrument, that would be 1757, at least on this black background chart. Let's take a quick peek here at the weekly time frame, see what we have here. And on a weekly basis, the swing point did volume of 632 million shares. Uh, we closed above with 265 last week. Um, but you are above resistance on the weekly time frame chart. You asked, also asked for that. And that resistance was 1716. You closed above that last week. You closed above it this week. That becomes support. 
So your two support levels are 1757 and 1716. Resistance now, when you take a look at Palantir, Palantir on a monthly basis may have run into that resistance level. And that is the bottom of its bullish structured monthly profile that formed below price. So here's what we know. The first level of resistance is 1985. The price must close above that to then suggest that move to that A to B equals CD target, regardless whether it was volume or not, at 23.44. So your real battleground right now is 1985. And if price can start trading above that level, that then, Greg, should lead you to higher price. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We get back from this break. We're going to take a look at natural gas for Coda, U.S. dollar, Japanese yen as well. Of course, I'd love to hear from you. 877-927-6648 or Steve at TFNN.com. Attention traders. Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we had a request to take a look at natural gas. My apology, I didn't write down who made that request. Doesn't really matter. But uh, one of the things we were on the uh, when we were uh, together on Friday, I'd mentioned to you that I had the continuous contract up for natural gas for the monthly time frame, and I said I really need to change that out, uh, which I did. And I was surprised that actually my system was able. I was able to take the September contract and get the actual reading. And the uh, if, if, for example, so here's September, and I'll show you, I'll show you the difference because it's not going to affect the other ones. But here, what we can see is this actually formed a buy the D point pattern uh, last month, the month of uh, June out there. 
because what we have is that we've got a nice bullish engulfing candle. So the A to B equals C and your A point would have been the high from uh, June of 2022. Your B point would have been the low from October 2022. Your C point was likely the high from November 2022. Made more than a one to one A to B equals CD. Uh, it actually had formed a buy the D point pattern back here in February of 2023. That pattern was negated when price closed below the bottom of that hammer candle. So it's not like this pattern can't fail. It most certainly can. But on a monthly time frame chart, uh, what this has is already has a buy the D point with price consolidating with inside its profile. Now, if I put up the continuous contract out here, which has more data, but this has enough data for me to say, OK, this is good. This is a good pattern. So you already have a monthly uh, buy the D point pattern. And I did not realize that um, when I had the uh, when I had this chart up here. Why didn't I realize it? Well, I mean, we do have a buy the D point pattern, I suppose. I, I hate using the same B, uh, the same uh, uh, candle for both a B and a C point of an A to B equals C D to downside. And that's what you'd have to do here. So that's why that didn't really stick out at me. But what, what did stick out, me, out at me on the continuous contract was the uh, TD9 count bottom. But we're negating that altogether now because what we've got is we've got a current contract, which is September, and we've got a buy the D point pattern with price consolidated with inside its monthly profile. Now, let's take a look at the weekly time frame out. So I wanted to clarify because I was giving everybody a price point that we needed to see price close below using a continuous contract, and I'm saying throw that out the window. Sorry about that. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, you've got a uh, confirmed TD9 count bottom, a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, just simply with a consolidation with inside its profile. So what we know here is the real key level of resistance for natural gas is going to be about two dollars and 85 cents the top of that profile if price can overcome that level then we'll see a move up to the uh, 326 ish area that's on the september contract on a daily time frame we just have a good old-fashioned consolidation between profile support and resistance that's at 250 2.501 to be exact and 2.757 up at the resistance area so that's pretty much what I've got for you on natural gas, whoever asked. So what I can share with you is you've got a bottom on the weekly, a bottom on the uh, monthly, no real pattern on the uh, daily, no bottom pattern, I should say. But since we're already off of those lows, we're inside of profile levels, we're going to just simply say that is unimportant as we speak. What is important is going to be $2.85 out there. You close above that, and then you're off to the upside when it comes to natural gas. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, that was code out there. Code also wanted to take a look at the U.S. dollar Japanese yen. So let me close out these charts, free up some resources, get over to that currency pair, which this morning looked like it wanted to continue to further weaken or strengthen when we take a look at the U.S. dollar index. But here we take a look at it. Now, how did Stevie come up with that? I came up with that by taking a look first at the daily time frame. So on a daily basis with regard to the Japanese yen, Forms a beautiful TD9 count bottom, does that on July 14th. Makes a nice move higher into that oscillator and change line, wasn't able to hold it, pulls back, tests and rejects that, that swing point from July 14th. And now today, a close above the level from July 21st, 141.95, will trigger an A to B equals CD to the upside. What's that going to look like? Excellent question. So let's draw in the A to B level out here, or approximately, let's go ahead and take that over to the C point. That C point would say, well, where you're going to get up to is about the 143 and change level. But price may really be targeting. Here's what I want you to know or notice. See how price is along the left side of that blue diagonal line? That was the same blue diagonal line that created that A to B line. This communicates to you and I that more likely than not, what price wants to do is more than a one-to-one. -one. A to B equals CD, and that would then take us up to the 144.73 level. So that's what I see when I take a look at the daily time frame for the U.S. dollar Japanese yen. What else do we have out here? You've got price trade above its green monthly oscillator and change line, above its weekly green oscillator and change line. Those are bullish conditions out here. So it really does look like uh, what uh, uh, the U.S. dollar Japanese yen does want to do is trade higher. Right now it's dealing with a couple of uh, topping patterns intraday-wise. Those topping patterns in the 30-minute roads went to indicator top. Key level of support is 141.93. You've got a TD9 count and roads went to indicator top on the 60-minute chart. Key support there is 141.75. You've got a TD9 count top. Now you don't have that's not going to. You've got a wave. Eh, we're not going to go into the 120-minute chart. Um, 
So 141.75 would be the areas that I would be watching for uh, support out there. Let's go out to John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Steve, I'm doing just fine. Thanks for taking the call. My pleasure as always. And you want to take a look at light, sweet, crude. Uh, what are yeah, you doing? Steve, and how I, can I, uh, I apologize. You? Um, I should ask just up front. Uh, you're halfway into the show. Have you discussed oil with your audience already today? I have not. Then, uh, then here's my question, Steve. Uh, I would like to read on oil specifically uh, directed at answering the following question. With this rally, just uh, by way of background, I have been trading. I've been trading oil. Uh, virtually exclusively from the long side, uh, sp uh, particularly in the past three months since that early May low. Um, and uh, we've been rallying very nicely uh, since I believe it was the June 27th low. Uh, so we're just stair-stepping higher. Um, the uptrend is clear to everybody who takes a look. My question to you, sir, is could you just bisect the daily, weekly charts using your indicators to let us know if there is something we need to be on look for, uh, on the uh, uh, outlook for right here, right now, for a uh, possible rally completion? Yes, uh, we do have something, John. That would be the daily time frame. It would really be two different uh, time frames out here, the daily and the weekly. We'll focus on the daily because what the daily is going to do today is form bar number eight of a TD9 count. In order for bar number nine to occur tomorrow, Lights Week Crew will need to close above 78.78. So I would say odds favor that Lights Week Crew will form a TD9 count top between today and Wednesday. Now, prices above profile levels on the daily time frame. So even though it's got that top, it's more of a neutral type signal and really, really would suggest that we should at least see a retracement and the target for that retracement right now would be about 78 77 that's the current print for the daily oscillator on change line the second chart that suggested beyond look for a top would be the weekly time frame and in the weekly time frame what i've drawn in here is a consolidation pattern so we're trading up near or close to the consolidation high so at the same time we're getting up Towards that level, we've got a daily TD9 count top that is in place out here. The monthly, if it can close today above the area, John, of 79.87, suggests that it wants to make a move to the 85.59 area. So maybe we're gonna see a spike higher in the next couple of days that uh, completes or sets up that TD9 on the daily. Hold on through this break here. We've got about four seconds. We'll come back, finish looking at Light Sweet Crew. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with John and Philly. We're taking like a light speed crude. We're talking about the potential for a short term top or some type of top based on the weekly and the uh, daily charts. Now, when we get those type of topping signals on the daily, it's a TD nine count top that could form or should form between today and Wednesday. We go over to the intraday charts out there and we take a look at the intraday charts. Although we have topping signals, we don't really have much in the way of topping patterns. I mean, the 30 to 60 show a confirmed Roachman to indicator top, but a close on a 30 or 60 minute basis john above 8170 would suggest that the rally will continue which i think is the likely outcome uh here but price needs to close above those those intraday levels to suggest that it will continue from here uh and the reason why i think that it will is price is trading above profile levels in most of those instances as well as that green oscillator and change line so i do believe the rally will extend itself for another day or so before we get that short-term top what say you my friend uh, Steve, thanks so much for all that. Uh, my one observation to share is uh, since way back last December-ish, and I'm not looking at my daily chart that goes back that far, so I'm kind of going from memory, which could be a bit off. But That's okay. <laughs> since, since that point in time, we've had multiple rallies, uh, you know, on a daily chart basis which yeah. have all stalled out in the vicinity of 83 bucks a barrel. And we're, we're here at, you know, 81 and a half. Uh, so uh, as I look at that, uh, I just share two things. One, I wouldn't be surprised if sellers take control and cap the rally, you know, at that 83 level again, uh, regardless of what happens over the intermediate term. And, if, in fact, we do get to 83 and clear it, where sellers are, uh, are stuffed, uh, that will be, for me, incredibly important because should that scenario unfold, uh, 83, which has proven to be a stubborn roof yes. for months and months now, yes, yes. would flip to becoming a floor. Uh, so uh, I can envision uh, this week, next week, as being a very pivotal time. Well, you know, this consolidation to a certain extent. So you, you went back to December of 2022. And in essence, that's what this weekly chart was showing us was that top of the consolidation. Now, in one sense, we could say that the consolidation, you know, really, really, began let's say november of last year this would then be the since that time period this would be the third time up to try to bust it up is it usually the fourth time up that it does that well you, you know steve uh those are decent rules of thumb to pay attention to but 
I confess, I don't. I, hear you. Uh, I, I have found when I fixate on rules yeah. of thumb, yeah, I can get locked into a point of view and wedded to a point of view, and then get hamstrung should something else occur. For so sure. I'm just going to focus on uh, what the buyers and sellers do with this 83 area. And keep in mind this uh, idea that uh, when we do get above 83, whether it's, you know, this week or this month or sometime further out in time, that that becomes a floor. And that will be a very important thing to use as a trader, you know, for risk management perspective. Absolutely. Absolutely. John, is there anything else? Uh, I appreciate your help as always. You bet. Good to speak to you. That was John in uh, Philly. Uh, let's go on to our next request out here. This is from Dan inside the Tigers. I'm going to take a look at ticker symbol. Uh, let me just close this set of charts out here. SPR, SPRO. So we'll get to that here momentarily. Uh, get back up to the right spot. Now I just have to find it. Is it here? There we go. Perfect. Okay. So let's start taking a look at this uh, ticker symbol. SPRO is... Uh, Sparrow Therapeutics trading out right now at about a buck sixty one had a nice gap to the upside that gap so this formed a TD nine count top uh, TD nine count bottom I should say uh, completed that pattern uh, on a Friday formed it on Thursday completed it on Friday Friday was also a confirmation of a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom and now today prices trading above profiles trading above its TD nine count breakdown resistance of buck fifty three Dan are you long this uh, instrument here this is giving you a change in trend signal as we speak today on that daily basis a second close tomorrow above 153 would be that uh, confirmation out there uh, if we look at the uh, monthly uh, weekly time frame you've got a td9 count bottom that formed last week it's going to complete this week so this suggests that the next level is uh of resistance your next battleground i should say is at about a buck 68 a buck 68 happens to be the center of its weekly profile now if price can clear that level dan then your next resistance level is between a buck 86 and a buck 87 a buck 86 would be the weekly td9 count bottom or its threshold or its breakdown level. And 187 right now is the current top of its weekly profile. The monthly chart loves the nines. It's got a TD9 count bottom out there. It's just led to a sideways move, but right now it looks like you're off the schneid with today's move to the upside. You've got big volume for this instrument. You're already at about 2 million shares out there. Um, it doesn't trade anywhere near that average on a daily basis. So things are looking very bright for Sparrow Therapeutics. So Dan, I hope that that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for the request. We had a request for the Swabby one. That came in from Coda inside the Tiger's Den. SWAV is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's take a look at what this is doing, which right now is triggered. This is Shockwave Medical, by the way. Today, this triggered a Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal. The signal is different than a top or a bottom. This would be a bottom signal. Now, what's required here, Coda, in order for price to confirm that pattern would be a bullish reversal candle. If we get that, that confirms a Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom. That would then tell you that you've got resistance at 266 and 268. Those would be the areas that price would need to clear. The weekly time frame chart does not have a bottom pattern. Price is below profile. Uh, this could be the second week below profile. You could actually take out a swing point. This is the swing point from the week of July 7th. The volume on that swing point for the week was 1.8 million shares. Last week, as an, as an example, we were moving into 1.5 million shares. So we're not below that area just yet. You've tested and rejected that swing point out there, but I would be watching them the daily. If it's going to be a true rejection and the weekly is going to hold because that swing low being tested with lighter volume, then what you should get that is that bullish reversal candle on the daily time frame. The monthly chart, not really telling us a lot. It's a gigantic profile. So price is the support level here for the Suave one between 134 and 154. That's that bullish structured area and resistance up at 320.54. Now price has lost its momentum. We say that because price is trading below its green oscillator and change line. So overall, with regard to a shockwave medical, in order to get on its merry way to the upside, the first thing it needs is a bullish reversal candle. The second thing we'll need to do is take on those old buyers now may have become sellers. They're sitting at the 266.93 level. So I hope that helps you out. 
And uh, thanks so much for the request. Next request coming in from e by email is from, I believe it's from Hector and the fuel injectors. Hector wants to take a look at XLE. Nick wants to take a look at the GDX. We'll do both those things when we get back from this break. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's get right back uh, to it. Uh, Hector writes in. He says, happy, marvelous Monday. Same to you. XLE, a recap on the oscillator and change line resistance support, possible A to B equals CD up on the monthly basis. Well, here's what we've got. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the A to B equals CD to the upside on the monthly basis. Price has to take out its all-time highs in order for that to uh, take place. That requires a close above 94.71, I believe. But we do have an A to B equals CD to the upside on the daily time frame with its initial price target of 88.69. Today is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. Much like Light Sweet Crude that John and I were taking a look at, the XLE has got a similar pattern. Again, that daily TD9 count top is likely to form tomorrow, complete the very next day out there. So I'd be looking for that as a short term. Again, the price target 88.69 may in fact come to fruition over the course of the next couple of days out there. But no A to B equals CD on the monthly time frame. I'm assuming that you're looking at the new one that could form. Not until we get above the 94.71, but again, in summary, we should see a short-term top form in, in the XLE form between today and Wednesday of this week. 
The last request, uh, take a look. Well, it's not really the last request. We've got two more. Uh, see if we can get them in here. This is from Nick. He says, good morning, Steve. What would negate GDX and Nuggets A to B equals CD to the downside? That would require a close above the uh, swing point from July 25th. That swing point high is 31.89. 14 million shares traded hands that day. You're into it right now with 5.2 million shares. So likely that high is going to be tested. Now, if this is only a counter trend move here, if it's only a counter trend move, the GDX would stop at 31.70. That's the that's going to be a real key level out there. If price can close above that 31.70, then likely this is not a counter trend move. We'll negate. We'll forget about the A to B equals CD pattern, and price should go on and target. 3240. Remember, the GDX is so directly correlated to gold and silver. You've also got to always take that into consideration. And lastly, Jambal, I wanted to take a look at uh, uh, Meta out here. Meta does not have any kind of a topping confirmed topping pattern out here. It does have a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal, but Jambalaya, that needs that bearish reversal candle to confirm that pattern. Otherwise, looks like Facebook wants to go target the 353 area out there. In the gate, by the way, it's weekly TD9 count top last week. Folks, stay tuned for all the great programming. I'll be back with you on Terrific Tuesday. Actually, I'll be back at around 315 with Tom for a quick segment. Take care. Have a magnificent, marvelous Monday, folks.